What's up guys, I'm at the top of the sand hill. It's a big walk up, but um, pretty much today, we're gonna be smoking that dolphin fish that I speared the other day. If you haven't seen that, go watch that video now. It's pretty epic. Yeah, the water's nice. We're just waiting for that sun to peek through the clouds. And I'm gonna go for a dive around the wrecks, see if I can uh, get a better breath hold and start training up because I got a trip coming up real soon. But um, I'll tell you about that a little bit later. <laughs> I'm hanging on the tree. Ooh. Alrighty, let's go down and uh, have a dive, hey? You coming? Nice wetty. What do you think? What do you think of mine? Jokes, I'm not wearing one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, hey, put some clothes on. Yeah, I should put some clothes on. <laughs> All right, guys, pretty much we got some really epic wrecks here. It's quite busy. It's a Sunday, so everyone's out, but pretty much I've suited up. I got the weight belt. There is strictly no spear fishing here, obviously. It's a bit of a sanctuary, so um, yeah, we're just going to get in. I'm going to do some diving around, and hopefully we'll see some epic stuff. There can be um, all sorts of things out here. I know a lot of what we got sharks, big tuskies, big gropers, mangrove jack, like just stuff that you don't usually get to see that um, is untouched, so it should be pretty epic. And uh, then we might go for a dive later on, but oh my goodness. What? Look at the water. Oh wow, it's, it's so beautiful, clear. the sun's coming up. Oh. And then after our dive, when we're starving, we're just gonna smoke that mahi and wow, well, it's gonna be an epic day. So I'm still gonna use my weight belt. Actually, I might run through some of my gear a little bit later on, guys. I'm running four weights, and I'm just gonna be practicing my breath hold, because I got an epic trip coming up that oh, I'm so excited to tell you guys about. It's coming up in a week, so. So real soon I'll be away, but um, yeah, we're not gonna be shooting anything. Just diving around, the weight belt will be perfect, and yeah, feeling uh, feeling pretty toasty. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll just hang around the boat though. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. You ready for the dive? Yeah. Yoo -hoo. Down the island south a bit and um, 
cook up this dolphin fish. Just had an epic dive and really focusing on uh, getting my breathing correct. And I think I got down 10, almost 12 meters, sat down for 30, 40 seconds. So pretty epic, pretty happy with that. And yeah, we'll cruise down now. You, you. See you down there. <laughs> yeah, got the whole crew. Love the whole crew. Feeding the tribe. <laughs> Looks like a nice spot here to set up. I got the smoke on it, got everything with me, so um, yeah, we might cook it on the beach here. It could be really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, here's our kitchen for today, guys. Probably tank it up nicely, and I've got the smoker. So if you come down here, if you remember, this is the uh, the smoker I used for one of the old episodes, but I cooked up a dirty tilapia. So today we're going to be cooking up some beautiful dolphin fish, and I thought, why not cook this thing whole? We took the head off and used it as a bit of burly when we we're out there. So basically, I've got about this much left of the dolphin fish. We should be able to fit in here perfectly. So what we'll do is we'll fill these up, light them up, and just get it cranking. There's no point mucking around. So if I remember, we've got to fill these bad boys up. This methylated spirit just smells like a bad night out on the vodkas. Ooh. It's alcohol, but not the good type. <laughs> it's not the good stuff. This one up. What happened was uh, Jed shot a real nice one, and I shot the smaller one. Both are obviously legal fish, but what we ended up doing was cutting this one up for a burly. And so it's been gutted now, but we're sort of shredding this up in the water, trying to get some bigger like wahoo coming in, and they never did. So now we just have this really nice nearly topped it in the sand. We have this really nice sort of back half of a um, of the dolly that I shot. I think, let's see. Oh! It fits. Scales off. Gotta fill the bottom with wood chips. That's a lot. There's gonna be a full on smoke oven in here, so all these wood chips will give it a beautiful, beautiful flavoring. And then the rack goes on top like this. And then the fish goes on top. Bam, 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 you get it. So what we'll do is we'll marinate the fish, we'll whack it on the grill, and then we'll get those lit up and that's it. So what we're working with today is I've got a few ingredients, pretty basic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat this fish a little bit of oil on each side of it and rub it in. So flip that over a little bit more, rub that in. And the beautiful thing here is if you really want to get that proper smoky flavor, smoky rub, Texas style. I used this on the same, um, on the fish last time. Mm, smell that. Oh, wow. Yeah, the holes get clogged up, so you gotta keep banging it. Mix of your herbs. I don't go too much with these. Just a little bit each side. I'm gonna place it in here. Spread that tail. <laughs> Righty guys, they're cranking. So then pretty much what you wanna do is you get this bad boy. And now I'm gonna sit this on top. Wow. Perfectly like that. And then the lid. This is the final bit. The lid goes on. We're not gonna see that fish again until it's fully smoked. So you ready? Lid goes on, see you later Dolly. We'll know that it's on. And I'll close it up and just let it do its thing. Mm. Just gotta make sure that's on properly. Yeah, it's sitting right. Got the lemon this time as well, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Now, also, 
I think we might have a quick dive on the way home at one of the islands and see if we can get another cray or a um, tusky, something like that. So that could be pretty epic. At the moment, I can't think about anything else except for eating, so. Can you catch it though? Oh, oh no! Chuck it back. Yoo-hoo! Look at that. If that's uh, if I've ever seen smoke before, that's it, isn't it? It's okay, fine. usually I just let the burners um, burn out, but we just checked it and it it's ready to go. Look at that white meat. It is definitely ready. I'm gonna take this off and just put it over here. You just gotta let it burn out. When it when it's completely finished, it'll just the flame will stop, and that's the safest way to not have to deal with any more. Um, of that methylated spirits, just let it all burn out and then it's safe to pack away once it cools down. So as long as you get the fish off and let it cool down. My goodness. That is 100% done and dusted, ready to go. And going in my belly. We got the tribe down there just chilling. Um, we'll give them a, a taste too, but yeah, we'll give it a crack ourselves first, just see how it is. Oh. Oh, 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 it did exactly what I said. The tail just crisp off. We got a bit of skin. Ah. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Not gonna lie, that was a bit very smoky. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Beautiful white mahi mahi meat. Wow, mm. it's so smoky. It's so smoky. <clears throat> okay, there we go. That's what we want. We just want to peel. I guess that defeats the whole purpose of the flavoring though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, see, it's all we about try. learning, trying new things, so. That is the smokiest thing I've ever tried. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Oh, that tastes a bit better. Oh yeah. Oh, the meat's quite good. Mm. See that? That's all the bone, and we'll pretty much just pull, pull that spine out, like that. Look at that. The spine just comes straight out, and that's the rest of the fish. You, you waste zero meat, so I do like smoking these, um, these fish. Sometimes smaller fish is good, so. Mm. Woo! So good. Look what we found walking back. It was just sitting up along there. And it is just a giant sea turtle skull. And it's pretty much, there's like a tiny bit of meat left here. There we go. And apart from that, it is completely like hollowed out. Huge sea turtle. You know, we, we don't know what could have happened to it, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna take it because I'm not sure what the laws and that are of this kind of stuff. So we'll leave it back up on the beach here. He can watch out over all the other turtles and protect them. And that's pretty epic, isn't it? And now the sun's coming out. What Woo. a day. Let's pack this stuff up and um, go for another dive, eh? Yeah. Try to get some tuskies. Yes, or craze. <laughs> My favorite thing is when it's like a little bit choppy and then it just glasses off in the afternoon. It's just the sickest thing.
Had a shot on a Tusky, but completely missed it. It was so dirty. Couldn't find any craze, but big blue swimmer crab under the rock. Jetty's making a dive. Gracefully. <laughs> wow, look at that sunset. It's officially shark o'clock now, so I'm definitely out. That was my last dive. Unfortunately, no craze or, or Tuskies, but um, as always, next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, I'll see you when I see you. It might be when I'm back from that trip, so uh, yeah, it could be epic. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you want to get some some merch, shorehawk.co. We got some epic new stuff there, so check it out. And um, have a good one, guys. <laughs>